Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, what is it, around the 12th. Keep your mind, the timing is fluid. These could resonate <laughs> at any time. It could be a week from now, it could be tomorrow, it could be a month from now, whatever. Just So you could watch a daily vibe. You go to one, and one of them calls your name. That's the one for you. You know what I mean? The timing is fluid, and, and I've gotten that a lot. So anyway, what kind of message do I have to deliver today? If somebody has a new solid opportunity, the first thing I see is the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity, right? It is. It's a golden opportunity uh, for something solid, something abundant. Somebody may be getting a gift or a raise or, or purchasing something big. Um... Uh, an offer somebody is getting a really 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 big offer hmm. what do we have what do we have it's a golden opportunity it is the ace of pentacles is, is a big huge opportunity that could lead to success something permanent That's, that is like something right in your hand. It's in the palm of your hand. Now what are you going to do with it? Oh, oh, it's a wish being fulfilled. It's a wish being granted. Help is arriving. This is help. Guaranteed success. Your wish has been granted. Your prayers have been heard. Here it is. It's in, the, it's in your hand. This is what you asked for. You think about the Ace of Pentacles. That's something you have manifested. Right? Now, the sh star, the star is shining very bright. So somebody is shining very brightly. Now, this is, the star comes after the tower. So, this is a blessing. And the uh, Ace of Pentacles is a blessing. It's a gift. So there's a blessing in disguise after some sort of tower has fallen. This is a blessing. Now you have a golden opportunity. What are you going to do with it? You've been blessed. So, hmm. Oh, oh, the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Now this is a setback. Somebody is stuck. They are stuck. Goodness gracious. Repeating negative patterns. Clinging to control. Fighting destiny. Fighting change. Holding on to an old cycle. This is a loss. The Wheel of Fortune. Reversed. It is a loss. It's an unpredictable loss. But somebody can't let it go. Consider it a blessing. Consider it a blessing, please. Oh, boy. Clinging to control. Fighting destiny. Fighting what is meant to be. Uh, there's a reason. There is a reason. This, that's a card of protection. The star card is a card of a prote protection. Protection from above. Somebody was being protected, but we have the person that was being protected that doesn't see that this was protection. Hmm. Ten of Cups is a relationship that has ended. Tens are completions. And we have two of them right here. So this is a completion. Unpredictable. Unpredictable ending of a relationship. That's what it is, too. Hmm. So this unpredictable. There's the golden opportunity right in the palm of your hand. There could be a past relationship that is still haunting you. It's haunting you. Is there a song called Haunted by Alanis Morissette? Something like that. I don't know. I haven't heard it in a long time. It's like you're haunted. Somebody is haunted. Haunted by the past relationship. But that was a lesson. That whole relationship was a lesson to be learned. Temperance is a journey. The, le the lesson. Okay. It is the lesson. Allow and accept change. 
You notice this is very big, okay? Major, 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 and at the 10, okay? So this is big. This is major. This is universal. There's a universal change here. The universe is plays a big part here in what is happening right now and what has happened. It's like the universe, there's, there's a higher power involved here, okay? This is uh, the journey, the path, the path that represents the journey, the journey of life, the temperance card. has taught you something. This relationship taught you something. It taught you a lesson. Now it's time to compromise and accept and, uh, and allow this change. Stop fighting it. There's a purpose. There's a reason. There is a reason. There is definitely a reason. There, you're going to get something better. There's something better. You, this is an exchanging one for the other. There is something better that is coming. I'm telling you what, that Ace of Pentacles, that's something better. It's a bigger, better opportunity. It's something that you really asked for. It's what you really, really wanted, maybe even subconsciously. They heard your prayers, okay? That star card is about prayers, okay? There's going to be some sort of exchange. You're exchanging something that wasn't meant to be for something that is. So there is a, there is a relationship that has ended. And now it's action time. It is definitely action time. Uh, the Knight of Swords. Now, there could have been a sudden ending it could have happened suddenly okay um somebody is on a mission as well we have somebody that is on a mission this person is on a mission they've got their mind made up they're going to do something what is this person gonna do they may be headed for a fall we may have somebody here that that is upset they are upset isn't thinking. I mean, you may have somebody that is headed for a fall. They're about to uh, run into a roadblock of some sort. They're biting off more than they can chew. This person just moves very, very fast, charges ahead sometimes without thinking. Or they think that they've thought it all out. You know, this person may have thought it all out. And they may, this could even be somebody that is very in like a conspiracy this person may, may have thought it all out they've got some sort of idea this person has some sort of idea they're going to rush forward they've got some something they got to do does have to do with the relationship that they left behind and this is the past coming back to coming back around something coming back around to haunt you this person it could be upset very upset but it looks like they're going to run into something that is going to cause them to to fall. I mean, the two of pentacles reverse. This is lacking balance. This is moving very fast. This is out of control. Uh, you could have somebody in here that loses their control and ends up losing something. I mean, there could be, instead of one loss, there could end, they could end up losing something else because of their stupidity. You know, I'm just being honest with you. From what I see, it's like we have somebody here that is clinging to control, could be very, very upset. They're on a mission, but then we they run into this two of coins reverse. This is, they've made a poor decision. They've bit off more than they can chew, and they're probably going to fall. Something is going to happen that they didn't plan on, okay? Hmm. Eight of cups reversed. It's almost like we have a wild goose chase. Somebody wants to come back. It's like they want to come back around or they're waiting for somebody to come back. We have somebody here that, that thinks that they can do. They think, they think that they can do it. They think they have no fear. Fearless. We have a fearless individual that is on a mission. He is on, somebody is on a mission. They're on a mission to come back. Maybe they're going to, they want to apologize Somebody may want to apologize. Maybe they've had some financial loss. Maybe they, they've, they've experienced some losses, losses in their life because of karma, because it's a card of karma. And this is losses, and it could be financial losses. Or they've lost a relationship, or they've lost a few different things. Okay? And now they want to come back. Maybe they've got some sort of new... They want to take a new approach. They, they see things differently. Hmm. 
Yeah, somebody, something to do with, it could have to do with prison, could have to do with jail. Somebody wasn't seeing a situation clearly. They've been in a state of denial. They've been confused. They've been trapped in their mind, trapped in their thoughts. Um, they're thinking. We de this, The Knight of Swords is a thinker, so this person thinks. And he is on a mission to come back or to get something back that he lost. So we may have somebody that is trying to get something back that they lost. It has to do with a relationship. It's like this person wants to come back around. Maybe they have learned some sort of lesson. We do have somebody that is shining very bright over here. They have evolved. They have healed. And this is, these are both cards of healing. So we have at least one person that has healed. This person has healed, done a lot of healing, Has is no longer the same person at all, at all. This person is shining, this person is at peace, this person um, has accepted. So this person has accepted. They have. They've accepted it as a blessing in disguise, right? This person has a, accepted it as a blessing in disguise. That this person mm, left. Okay, now this person wants to come back. There is something that, there's a relationship that is wants to come back from the freaking dead. <laughs> but... But, you know, it doesn't it doesn't look like it's going to be successful. It doesn't. I don't think it will be successful. I don't. I mean, you get the death card reversed. That's, that's like a disaster waiting to happen. Somebody has been very undecided. And they've been held back by fear. This person was held back by fear. But now it's like they're they're letting go of their fear and they're coming forward with that Knight of Swords. That is somebody that is moving forward. They're charging forward. And should anybody get in their way, they're going to get run over. Okay, we got somebody here that is wanting to come back. And they're, they're wanting to go back to somebody that they abandoned or something. They treated unfairly. Four of Swords, definitely rising from the dead. Okay, it would definitely. These are this is death. This is death. Okay, but if they're both reversed. It's like so. We have somebody here that is very, very frustrated. They're feeling very alone. Uh, they just want their relationship back. They want to go home. They want their family back. They want their love back. They just want it back, right? This person is on a mission to get it back. But it looks like it's a dead end. It does look like it's a dead end, you know. It feels like this person, I don't know, something to do with jail or being handcuffed or tied up or whatever. Somebody couldn't see. They couldn't see how fortunate they were because that's the Wheel of Fortune. They couldn't see what they had. Now they want to come back. The Eight of Cups reverse is pretending to be happy. We have somebody here that has been pretending to be in a happy relationship. They were playing games. They were pretending, but meanwhile, they were getting sick, and they, they, it was killing them on the inside. They were. They were feeling. They were dead on the inside, being in this fake, unhappy relationship. Now they're taking some sort of action. May have something to do with the Queen of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Pentacles is loyal. She has that golden opportunity in her hand, okay? She is stable. She is solid. She is loyal. She is grounded. She is a homemaker. She is decorative. She works. She cooks. She cleans. She handles the finances. She pays the bills. She does it all. She's a mother. So, we have this Queen of Pentacles here who is stable, and she has a lot to offer. She is valuable, and she knows it. She's just sitting pretty, right? She is sitting pretty. She's she's comfortable. She's grounded. She's solid. She's stable. Um, 
Somebody is headed towards her. They got their eye on her. Somebody has their eye on this Queen of Pentacles. Ah, well, they are going to take action. Some This is take action to bring success. This person is magical. Somebody is magical. Has some sort of magic ability. Um, but this is uh, taking action, willing to shed the old, willing to do whatever it takes to bring success. So we do have some, could be a Gemini. It could be a Gemini because you have Gemini in that Knight of Swords. Could be a Gemini. It's funny because I've been thinking about Gemini. So it definitely could be a Gemini. It could be a Gemini that is, is wanting to go back. Interesting. It could be. It could be a Gemini. It could be a Libra. It could be an Aquarius. It could be a Sagittarius. Um, we have somebody that is feeling very alone, feeling very empty, probably having some sort of regrets or something. Um, does it could be any sign? It could be any sign. We have somebody here that has been trapped, and they've been trapped in their own fear. They've been trapped in their head, trapped in their thoughts. This poor woman is valuable. This person is valuable and knows their value has a lot to offer, very much, you know, makes a very comfortable home. This person makes it very comfortable. It's cozy and comfortable. You know, it is. The cat is even comfortable. I just wanted to point that out. It's like the cat isn't even scared. So whoever this person is likes animals. Because if they didn't like animals, the cat wouldn't be laying there. The cat would be too scared. So this is somebody who likes animals. And I don't know why this is why that came out. I know why, but anyhow. Uh, so whoever this person is likes animals. But anyway, we have somebody here that is about to take action to bring success. They are going to make a decision to do so. That's what I see. This person is feeling alone, they're feeling lonely, and they want to go back. They want to go back to love. And maybe, you know, they have their eye, and it could be somebody brand new, it could be. They have their eye on this person that is, you know, this person has something to offer, obviously. Has the stability and the security and the groundedness and the tenderness to offer, right? Um, so we have that night of swords somebody is making a decision they are making a choice and it's like they're going to take action and they're going to do whatever it takes something is about to be exposed somebody's coming out of hiding they're coming out of denial they've been blocking because of fear they've been blocking um you see this mask here and a mask here. The mask is coming off. They're about to show themselves. I think they've been hiding. They've been hiding behind the scenes. But they've been watching. They have been watching. Um, coming out. I think this is coming out of hiding. Somebody has been very indecisive, like I said. But now it's like... There's too much. This person is very fearful, fearful of rejection. We have somebody here that is very fearful. They're fearful of being rejected. They see a star. They see something really beautiful. They do, and they they want a piece of it. Um, this two of swords reverse. That's mental turmoil, emotional coldness. Somebody is having a hard time expressing themselves. Very scared. But they are going to get over that fear because this is fearless and heading towards this stable, solid opportunity. It's a gamble. It is risky. It is definitely risky. We have somebody here that I think is about to take a risk. They've been going back and forth, hemming and hawing as to whether they should. There's definite fear of rejection. They may, what happened is, is somebody may be fearful of the person that they're going to go through to is, wants to go back to their ex. That could be part of their fear. You know, they, 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 they see a golden opportunity. They want this golden opportunity, but they may have some sort of fears that the person that they're heading towards is still hung up on the past. 
so that could certainly be the case. Um, but I do think that somebody is going to take a risk. I do. Because this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Now, you think about the Ace of Pentacles. That's manifestation. And this is manifestation. Somebody has manifested something. They have manifested a relationship. They have manifested like a soulmate. There's some sort of divine connection here. Somebody is arriving. This is, a, this is an arrival. It is. Somebody is arriving. It's going to happen suddenly for this stable, solid person who is valuable. This is somebody who is very valuable. Hard worker. Somebody's going to take a risk. New beginning. Major new beginning. Wow. We do. We have a major new beginning here. We have somebody here that is going to face their fears and they are going to get a new beginning. And it's going to lead to success. This is a success. Accomplishment. Leaving the past behind, moving towards the future. This person is ready for a new beginning. This is also a something coming full circle. Something coming, you know, a long-term project or phase or something that you did in your life has come full circle. Now it's time to start on the next one. A lesson has been learned. And I saw that over here. One phase of life is over. A lesson has caused evolution with this card and this card. Somebody has evolved. They have changed. And they've healed. And now they're getting some sort of blessing, a gift. Remember that Ace of Pentacles? It's like somebody is going to be getting something from somebody. I think the Queen of Pentacles is going to be getting something. But whoever you are, we have somebody that is coming in with an offer. And this leads to a new beginning. It does. I think the person that is coming in is fearful, but they're going to overcome their fears. There has been a horrendous loss, though, because of the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Somebody has, you know, been through a situation that was, you know, unfortunate. It was unfortunate. But now they're ready to move forward and take action to bring success. So, yeah, I think there's been an unfortunate loss that was a blessing in disguise. Because now there's a big opportunity right here in the palm of your hand. Somebody's going to be receiving a message. And it could be an invite. It could be an offer. But it's going to excite them. This is a message. This is good news. A message is coming from somebody that is very well suited and wants to, like, I don't know, take you out, go for a ride, something like that. So be prepared for that. Good luck.